Mark, it's a really interesting business concept you've got here. Whereabouts the idea come from? Well, it was actually born from the inherent industry uh, issues at the moment. You know, there's less and less uh, shelf space for winemakers and there's less and less choice for consumers. So we flipped it on its head, said, let's, let's be kind to the winemakers, fund them up front uh, and empower them to make great wine. It's a really interesting business model. You say sort of crowdfunding the production of the wine. Basically, we go out and we get customers, angels, and we ask them to put $40 a month into an online piggy bank. It always remains their cash, but it gives us the ability to go and invest in winemakers. We've built this platform that, that enables the winemakers and their customers to communicate directly. So the winemakers get to hear straight from the horse's mouth how the wine tastes and what they think of the wine. And then on the other side, the angels get to engage with the personality, not just a brand. And Mark, what are your customer retention rates like? Uh, they're pretty bloody good, honestly. Um, I mean, compared to anything else in the industry, they're, they're miles above it. But what we've found out is that, that wine quality really is the, is the best retention tool. Um, you know, if, if the wine's amazing, if the prices are fantastic, uh, if it's been specifically funded, made for you, and you can't get it anywhere else, then why would you shop anywhere else? Also, compared to the industry, we, we have a very good delivery. We, uh, to major capital cities, we're delivering free next day. And what's the growth trajectory look like over the last three and a half years? Well, we started obviously with no angels. We, we're now up to 40,000 angels. Um, we started with no wine and we're going to sell roughly 250,000 cases this year. And um, we've got 31 winemakers uh, as of today as well. So Mark, you've gone through a pretty rapid growth here. Has that presented any unique challenges? Yeah, it has. Um, we physically ran out of wine at some stage and that was basically because we just had far too many customers. About a year and a half ago now, we introduced uh, a waiting list. So uh, that meant that people couldn't become angels straight away. They had to join a waiting list. Um, and that enabled us to control the amount of angels that came on, control the amount of wine that we needed. So it was a great method of controlling growth. And looking back at your business journey, what are some of the big highlights for you? Oh, the, the initial one, selling selling that first case, um, I remember walking into the, the warehouse and just going, oh my God, how are we going to sell all this wine? Um, and then literally a few months later, you know, we'd, run out of, we'd run out of sparkling wine. So just to see um, that first wine go off the shelf um, was, a, was a massive highlight, to believe, to see that the, the, the people believed in the idea and the concept and, and got behind the winemakers. And then secondly, um, changing people's lives. I mean, a lot of our winemakers literally started with nothing, absolutely nothing. Now they're moving, you know, 10, 20, 30,000 cases um, and they're buying vineyards, they're buying wineries, um, they're buying warehouses. So, yeah, we're really changing people's lives. That's a terrific story of an independent business propping up and, 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 and breeding other independent businesses. Really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. And, Mark, what would you say to other people with a similarly innovative concept going into business. Live and breathe your vision. Um, be, be, be true to your vision, articulate it, and, and make sure that you live it. Uh, it's so important. Well, that vision and passion certainly evident in yourself. Thanks a lot for sharing the story with us. No problems. This segment brought to you by Australia Post.